big pro?
And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Enaba region later tonight. They look yummy. We've got veggies. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? <laughs> my, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. 
You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Oh! Could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience, with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And, going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges, all the more so if the accused is a juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I I'm sorry. It can't be helped. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader.
Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow! What a nice girl! Welcome back! Senpai? Excuse me. Do you have time after school today? Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? The normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? Don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. But, yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well, I'll see you all after school. That was just an ordinary checkup. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my! What should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork! But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. 
persona means something like another personality. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. What? Are you a complete nut or moron? Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. No, don't say mine! Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. What? Oh yeah, Naoto-kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto-kun's is... Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Uh, anyways... The important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. Ah, uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. Yeah, thanks, Sensei. If you don't hurry, we're going to leave you guys behind! Welcome back. Hey! Ah.
Oh, it's freezing! Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate! Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys! You have to help me! You're the only ones I can rely on! Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been cancelled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies? So she's taking on jobs like that already? I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on cancelling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I don't think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're going to sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa! There's no way we can pull off something like that! I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. I've never really played it, though. Oh, wait, I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. Then it's decided. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. So, what are we
we gonna do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think that's gonna really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Damn, maybe you're gonna show me how to play. I'm gonna trust you. Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby. I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? You two, um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's not doing anything. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to read music. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to transfer schools after all. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Once more from the top. One, two, three, four. That wasn't me, I think. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? Oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. 
good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Let's just ignore this bear. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. Sensei, I... I want to play in a band! If it's over, then it's over for Yosuke too! That means it's over for me! And I can't bear to face that! <laughs> I don't want to know that you're only doing this because you're selfish. But you've got a point. If we give up, it all ends there. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. Real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. Uh, we're not talking about a brawl here. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke-senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what. And they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. <laughs> Well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this! I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all! Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Well, wait a sec! Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. That... didn't that sound pretty good? <gasps> that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Hell no! We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. C come on, everyone! Let's cheer up, okay? And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine! <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls! That saying's about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad-lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. You're back. Crap, the 
crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh, are costumes okay? I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer won't work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer! You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? Wait, you are? Sensei's face is like a waterfall! Uh, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Rise John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full blown, one time only performance. Now, who's ready? We, we are! are! Fired up and ready to go! Now listen up! We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Alright! Let's do this! Here goes! Yeah! They're asking for an encore! Oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. We only know one song! What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Rise explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. I'm getting fired up! Hey, Teddy? Ha! Yeah! Crowd surf! This is the best part of being a live performer! Stupid Teddy! We can't play without him! Hey, hey! Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation! 
stage dive? Hey, don't sound so excited! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? And do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it! Uh, Alright! I'll show you what it means to be a man! Hey, wait, you idiot! They just dodged out of the way! How did... I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. You're back.
Kachan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um, base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless! <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto Kun riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. Ugh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the Library. But I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. That's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this! I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, 
Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There are all these other kings, too. And we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. Am I really a king? <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. <laughs>